Hi everyone, it's Cal back at the house. For those of you that have been watching my videos, I want you to know I have about, I can't tell you hundreds of these or what feels like hundreds, but this, what I'm wearing is actually a men's undershirt in Italy, but they are beautiful. They are 100% uh, wool and they're not like an undershirt, they're actually like a sweater. So I've got an undershirt and then I've got my sweater and I've got about, oh, let's say 10 of these in, in gray and in white. So if you're always seeing me wearing the same clothes, you know why. I always buy five or 10 of the same thing uh, just because I like what I like. I like 100% cotton, I like 100% wool and that's it. So, um, so today I just wanted to talk to you about, uh, just quickly, I, I wanted to talk about the mother and father principle because sometimes I get deeply religious, well, I shouldn't say people who are involved with their faith in a very literal way on this channel. And, um, I really want you to understand, number one, that this is my opinion, and number two, uh, my opinion is coming from an, an empirical position. It's not coming from any literature. I have not studied any kind of religion. It's coming from full-on uh, just doing the work, and the work is hard, like I always say, but it's worthwhile. Uh, so the mother-father force are two different things, obviously. One's male, one's female, one's active, one's passive. And the father is, is the alpha, okay? So he's the smaller force. And the mother is the omega. So she is a larger force. And the father force is inside the mother force. But the mother force is also inside the father force. And I know that sounds crazy. And, and I would like to explain it like this. You have got active light in your body. Your body is a body of darkness. The mother's body, let's say. And you've got the active light of the father in the body making everything activate and, and move. But at the same time, you have the father force on outside of you coming in uh, into your being, not just through your eyes, but through uh, many ways. Let's just say you absorb his light uh, and it permeates into your body to help all the activity go on. So the father force lives outside of you and lives outside of you, but the darkness of your being also is inside of you, but also you visit that at night as well. You go into the darkness of being when you sleep. This way is the way the universe is. The light that's in the universe actually exists on the other side of the universe and enters into the universe to begin the activity of building. And then when the collapse comes and it's, everything starts to break down, you can think of it as, oh, the being of the universe is beginning to get tired and getting ready to go to sleep. And then when the universe enters the sleep, boom, the collapse happens and then the universe wakes up and the light streams in again, the activity begins to go again. So, that is the Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha lives in the Omega. The Omega lives in the Alpha. The Alpha exists outside of the Omega and on the inside and vice versa. Um, I, this is what is going on. When I was in meditation, I linked to the web, and that means the stars in the sky, they form a web. And uh, the pressure is absolutely incredible. It's like having infinity Mack trucks on your head. So you can't maintain it for long. But when you connect, it's the, you get the download. Um, 
This is what came to my awareness. We are at the height of human, the development stops physically. Man does not, or not man, the consciousness does not have to go through the sort of Darwinian um, snapping into different, um, uh, into different uh, versions of life and adapting into different versions of life at the height of human. At the height of human, all of that before stops. It is a gigantic spiral that has, that all the consciousness in this life is on. And it is moving from different being, from a different type of being to different type of being and adapting. And, you know, if it needs three wings, it grows another. <laughs> and this, all stops at the height of human because at the height of human, you are a mini universe. Your seed was sown long ago and it has been growing up to this form. And if you're not on the webinar, you've got to get on it because I talk about this um, and you'll be able to see the visuals as well. So I'm going to put the link below and you can join that. Uh, yeah, so that's the Alpha and the Omega. I just wanted to get really clear on the Alpha and the Omega on this video, and I hope I did. I hope you kind of understand that. Um, and please comment, share, and let me know uh, if this is clear. And other than that, I hope to see you soon. Everyone take care.